Hello. In this video I'm going to show you an antivirus for Linux called Komodo Antivirus for Linux. A lot of people are still under the misconception that you can't catch a virus when running Linux operating systems. While this was true in the past, viruses for Linux are surfacing more and more each day and you are no longer as safe as you once were when running Linux. There's also the misconception that you can only catch a virus in Linux if you're surfing porn sites. This is not true either. You can catch a virus in Linux the same way you can catch a virus in Windows by clicking on the wrong link, clicking on the wrong picture that you're going to set as a desktop background, etc. Komodo Antivirus for Linux supports most popular distros of Linux including Red Hat Enterprise Linux Server, Fedora 16, SUSE Linux Enterprise Server 11, OpenSUSE Linux, Debian, Ubuntu, and CentOS. And I already have Komodo installed on the system, but to get Komodo you'd open your web browser and type Komodo Antivirus for Linux and then click on the free Linux antivirus link and on this page gives a brief overview of the features that are included in the Komodo Antivirus for Linux it detects and eliminates viruses from Linux based laptops and desktops its mail gateway blocks email borne viruses and spam it features on access on demand and cloud based scanning its virus definitions are updated multiple times per day and it's simple to use. You install and forget it while Komodo Antivirus protects you in the background. In other words, it's a real-time scanner. And you would click on the blue download button. Select the package that's best for your operating system if it's a 32-bit or 64-bit system and then click download. Leave open with Ubuntu Software Center checked and click OK. And as soon as you do that, it'll begin downloading. It'll open Ubuntu Software Center and it'll begin installing all on its own. When it's finished installing, it leaves an icon on the desktop. And if you double click the icon, the program opens. And the first thing it's going to tell you is your database is not up to date. Again, because I've had mine installed for a while, mine is and you can either click where it says not up to date to update it or we can go to the antivirus tab and under the antivirus tab we have a lot of options we can run a scan here's the update virus database so I'm going to click on that tells me everything's up to date here you can view all the items the scanner's quarantined you can also view the event logs you can submit suspicious files to Komodo for analysis you can schedule your scans you can add and remove certain profiles for viruses and you can also configure the scanner so the first thing I'm going to do is go to scheduled scans right now the only scan I have scheduled is the weekly virus scan and if I were to click on edit I could change the name of the scan I can change what I'm scanning and I can also select the days of the week that I want it to scan. I want it to scan on Wednesdays and Sundays at 7 a.m. Then I'm going to click apply and that's how you would schedule your scan. Next I'm going to go to scanner settings. Under real-time scanning there's three settings. You have on access, stateful, and disabled. Of course, disable means your real-time scanner is not enabled, which I don't recommend. If you have it set to stateful, everything is scanned on access. Stateful file inspection increases real-time scanning speed. And if you have it set to on access, everything is scanned on access. Threats are going to be detected before they can do any harm. Under the manual scanning tab, you can select what type of files to scan. You can set it to automatically update virus databases before scanning. You can also enable cloud scanning. You can submit unknown files for analysis. You can choose the heuristic scanning level. And you can also choose not to scan files larger than a certain size. Under the scheduled scanning tab, again you can select what types of files to scan. You can have Komodo automatically quarantine threats found during scans. You can also set it to automatically update the virus database before scanning. You can select to show scanning progress. You can enable cloud scanning. You can submit unknown files for analysis. You can once again set the heuristic scanning level. And you can set it to not scan files larger than a certain size. Under Mail Gateway, 
first you have host settings. This section allows you to set host information and email address for the administrator. You can use or add certificates. Under anti-spam you can configure Komodo to work with Spam Assassin to filter spam. Under SMTP configuration, here you can configure the Komodo mail gateway to work with MTAs and these settings affect how the email flow is handled. You can configure the scanner settings. This section allows you to change the advanced settings that affect how the emails are scanned. Again, you can choose what type of files to scan. You can enable cloud scanning. You can submit unknown files for analysis. You can set the heuristic scanning level. And you can also have it not scan files larger than a certain size. And the more tab, under preferences, you can set parental controls where you'd have to have a password to change any settings in Komodo. You can change the theme of Komodo. However, I think for the free version there's only the one theme. You can enable logging. You can set up a proxy. And you can also enable updating. Under Manage My Configuration, this would allow you to import, export, or delete your Komodo antivirus configuration settings. Under Diagnostics, if Komodo would report an error, this would help fix it. Again, you can check for updates. They have a huge help section, so I'm going to go back to Summary. And now I'm going to click Scan Now. I'm going to leave it set to scan the entire computer. And I'm going to click Scan. And this is what it looks like when it's scanning. And once you have all your settings set, all you'd really have to do is right here in summary, make sure you're updated, and then click scan now. You wouldn't have to go through all the different tabs and settings. I just went through all those to show you what Komodo is all about. Down here you can see the mail gateway is running. However, I don't have any filters set. So if I were to click the none, I could select the filtering type and then make my configurations. And that's Komodo Antivirus for Linux. Very simple antivirus to run. Very important to have on your system. And always keep in mind that this is a real-time scanner, so you want to keep as up-to-date as possible. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.